My life changed. Like on, on my 50th birthday, I did a bungee jump uh, out of a helicopter over the Grand Canyon. I had spent so many years of my life building up Will Smith and this persona and this, the energy of who I was supposed to be in the world. And it, it had become a cage. Like I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't go nowhere. I couldn't be with nobody. I couldn't, you know, mm. I had to do the things that Will Smith were, had to do and had to say. And, you know, I, I made a decision in that and on my birthday that I was going to be free, that I was just going, I was going to do all this stuff I wanted to do. I was going to say all the stuff that I wanted to, to say. And a big part of it, I think also was my, my father died right before that. Wow. And somehow when my father died, I kind of got like free from his rules. When I started, I had, you know, all these grand ambitions of what I wanted to be and what I wanted to do. And, you know, I want to be the biggest movie star in the world. Um, so I studied that and I worked out and I got my body crazy and I did, you know, just got my head around um, doing everything I could do to be the biggest movie star in the world, you know. And then I had a taste of that. And I realized that even though I had achieved all those things, on the inside, I was still that same insecure little boy wow. that was trying to prove something, you know, to my father and all of that. And that you can't achieve your way out of mm. your, you know, okay. childhood wounds and okay. traumas. So yeah. then I made the shift. And what I realized is that the only sustainable mission um, throughout your whole uh, existence is to improve lives. And as soon as I made the shift in my mind from trying to be big and trying to have money and trying to be popular to making sure that I improved lives every step of the way on this earth, then all of a sudden I started experiencing healing from product and winning to love and people. There's one relationship that you have to maintain and that's the one with you, right? And it's like, if, if you're not loving you, if you're not taking care of you, everything and everybody is second to you taking care of you. It's almost like less about constant joy and more about constant expansion, right? You know, we are grinding each other and demanding that we be the greatest versions of ourselves for each other, for our family and for the world. Because everybody has dreams. And as much as you, you, you want to be able to listen a little bit, because somebody's going to give you a gem, but you nobody knows but you. You can't get advice on what you should do with your life, right? Nobody knows what you are. Like even even sometimes you don't really even know what you what you are. You got to take your shot. And it, it's like as much as you want people to agree and you want the people around you to be supporting your dreams and all, it's not going to be like that all the time. You got to do it alone, a lonely, scary, dangerous pursuit. And you got to be willing to risk everything to become that seed of what you believe you is in there. You got to be, be fearless. fearless. You got to be relentless.